In both EFT and a casino game like Craps, it is hard to tell whether a hot streak is due to individual skill or pure luck. In trying to deal with the swings of good performance and then hitting the lows of the lows, losing all the gear and then hitting that level of gear fear, I just wanted to figure out like what is the way to get better. I believe the answer is to treat Factory like an incubator and learn the fundamentals of PvP this way. Those PvP learnings and principles can be applied to the rest of the maps when we combine it with watching the film of um, the Tarkov greats like Landmark, Willers, and Glory. Hey, feel free to take me out, my game bugged out. Film session one. What we're gonna see is the need for better point fire and the need for better map awareness. So let's watch the whole clip in full together before I really dive into what that really means. I was sandwiched in between two PMCs, so through point fire here, we'll see that I miss the majority of my shots. I'm pretty sure I hit the, the crates and the boxes in front of me eight to ten times, and at most landed one shot on the PMC, so again, no self-judgment. I really wouldn't see me as a threat. This could be just improved with some training, an aim lab or Kovacs or something, if I'm even pronouncing it right. I pretty much shoot around the guy, this PMC up here. Probably don't land a shot, maybe one or two at most. When I'm pushing this person up here above, I believe this is Sky's bunker. It's not a one on one. I'm playing like it's a one on one, but it's actually a 2v1 at worst. I literally forget that there's one behind me. Not only that, when I made the initial push, like I didn't see the guy up here either. This is all okay though, this is all learning opportunities. So I don't see the guy here. I am wide open here. It's Timmy versus Timmy right now with a possible Chad behind me. I make the push like it's a 1v1. I get destroyed from the back. But let's move on to the next one. Let's watch the whole clip. I think I land two shots to the face, like right there, but obviously didn't work. If you see when I was walking up the stairs, I didn't pre-aim to where this guy was. I mean, he's also looking at a weird spot and he's delayed as well, but I could have gotten a jump on him and had pre-aimed to, you know, either thorax or head level when I was coming up. Next time, you know, pre-aim up here. So let's just play it back one more time. Yep, that's how we could do it, I guess. And then here's what actually happens. But let's move on to the next one. One thing I do in Tarkov is I don't really visualize where people might be. So he's already pre-aimed, I believe. By the time I start shooting, he's already ready to go. I got myself in a situation where someone else already had an advantage. Next time I hear somebody outside and I don't visualize where they are, the best thing to do might just be to rotate and try to get them from a different angle or something along those lines. But again, curious to hear what the community might think. But let's move on to the next one. No sound. This one's situational awareness. Okay, I'm on it. I had just spawned here. Ask later. They're trying to get me to come out. 
I obviously have to leave that area at some point, that forklift spawn. This grenade, I wasn't going to flesh anyone out of their current position, so he was going to stay in his current position. This grenade here, as well. They missed the clear shot here. When they were pre-ADSing, they should have gotten in that hit. Damn it! They are still breathing! This grenade could have probably pushed it another 20 degrees left, so I'll probably want to practice that one. And then there I expose my body fully against someone who clearly had a better weapon. But there are signs of progress. One final lesson. I've noticed that when I survived the first 30 seconds to a minute and a half of the raid, that it typically tends to go a lot more smoothly after that. What I mean by that is, as long as I show up, survive the first minute and a half, don't get cornered, don't do anything super, super aggressive. Obviously while pursuing other PMCs, I tend to be able to extract safely and get out with my gear. Additionally, something I've noticed is Factory tends to have players that are a lot less geared. But as you see here, this PMC that I'm fighting and that I'm horribly missing with the USP, I'm not really wearing a lot of armor. Doesn't have any grenades, whereas I have about five. Something as well that really resonated with me with Giga Beef's original factory guide from about a year ago is the importance of having grenades to move people and to reposition them in an especially small map like factory. Because I have so many and because he doesn't appear to be carrying any himself, this grenade here, this one does not miss the mark like my other one did. That's it. Plan to do a lot more factory videos. Maybe factory by spawn. Maybe highlighting that first minute, minute and a half to survival from each spawn. Anyways, if you liked what you watched, like what you saw, and you learned a little bit of something, please feel free to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more factory talk off content.